Hello everyone. My name is Darkizer and this is the second in my video tutorial series. Um, I have been asked by some of my friends to demonstrate how uh, object mirroring uh, works in creative mode in Space Engineers. Uh, object mirroring is uh, a, a method that you can use to very quickly uh, build your, uh, your spaceships or your, your stations uh, in Space Engineers. However, uh, there is one caveat. It only works in creative mode. Uh, this will not work in survival mode. You have to place all of your blocks there uh, individually. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Now, uh, when I'm building a ship, uh, I prefer to put down uh, a couple of blocks before I put down the initial landing skid, and that's because it, it lifts the project up above my platform. I also uh, have placed these blocks out at the edge of my platform so that if I need to get up underneath the ship to place something, uh, it's a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and we'll start a new small ship. Here's our obligatory landing skid. Now, uh, from here, this is where you can trigger the mirror function. Uh, I have a block uh, ghosted up, but I don't have it to necessarily place it. I'm going to hit the M key, which is the default uh, for your mirror setting. And whatever uh, block I happen to be sitting on, um, you will get a red plane that will be passing through the center of the block and this is where your your center line is going to be located uh, and if you're working on a bigger project then of course you can move the plane around uh, to the various parts of your project but I prefer to do this when I'm first getting started now you're going to uh, left mouse click and as you can see uh, the uh, plane becomes more opaque and that indicates that that plane is now active. Now you cycle through your M key and these are all various planes that you can use. Uh, one of them of course is uh, vertical, this one is horizontal, and this one is uh, vertical going front to back as opposed to being left to right. But you keep hitting your M key to cycle through until you come back around to your block. Now when you place anything on the center line uh, you will get a tone indicating that you've just placed something and it, it will place one item but uh, it will only uh, place it, uh, a single item on the center line but you will get that tone indicating that it cannot duplicate something uh, because it is on the middle and then anything that you place to the left or right um, of the plane will be duplicated on the other side so you will get a mirror image uh, hence the term uh, mirror function and uh, you can do this for, for virtually any part of your ship. Uh, you can put down, um, you know, control panels uh, or what have you. Any sort of feature uh, that you have on a ship can be mirrored in this way. Um, and, of course, if you don't have any, any types of blocks uh, highlighted, then, of course, then the function turns off. When you indicate a, a block or you select a block, uh, then the function is restored. Now, uh, if for some reason you wish to put only a single item and you don't wish to have it mirrored on one side, uh, let's say for some reason I want to have a, a camera over here, but I don't want to have one on the other side, then what I would do is I would push the N key, and that will temporarily uh, deactivate uh, the, the mirror function, and then I can go ahead and place my camera, and then... Uh, I go ahead and hit N again, and my mirror function is restored. So that way, if you have a ship that you wish to build a, a little asymmetrical, put a door on one side, not on the other, cockpits, and so on and so forth, then just hit your N key, place whatever the item is, and then hit your N key again, and then your mirror function is restored. Now, another caveat to doing this is the fact that uh, you can use the mirror function when placing... Uh, pistons and rotors and so forth. However, uh, at this time, the uh, the piston heads and the rotor heads uh, are treated as a, a separate item, basically the, the, the beginning of another ship. So even though pistons and rotors will be mirrored, whatever you put on the end of them uh, will not be. 
So if you plan on making a, a very complicated project with lots of pistons and rotors and so forth, be aware that the pistons and rotors themselves will be mirrored, but anything that you wish to put on them, you're going to have to place it the old-fashioned way and, and do them one at a time. And that's about it. Um, so if you have a large uh, project uh, that you want to do, uh, then uh, this, is, this is one of the easier ways that it can be done. Uh, again, you can build your ship, you can build your station, you can make everything symmetrical. Um, we can uh, go through the various and sundry uh, planes, and again, say you, you have a project that you have your horizontal plane or your vertical plane done, and then you wish to move on to a different plane, you can go ahead and click another plane on, and then flip through, and now, uh, for instance, every time I put something on top, uh, now it will also be mirrored uh, on the bottom. Now, any blocks that cannot be placed, for instance, if I want to place something here, but uh, it simply won't fit because it's too close to something else. It will place as many blocks as possible, but anything that is it physically will not fit, the game will give you a tone and it will indicate, no, I, I'm sorry, but I couldn't place a block there. So, um, short, sweet, to the point. That's how you use the mirror function. Uh, it's one of the, uh, the great uh, methods that you can use for, for building things relatively quickly and for making things nice and symmetrical. Um, again, if the, you uh, found the video to be informative, please go ahead and click on like. Um, if you have any suggestions for what our next uh, tutorial video should be about, then go ahead and put that down in the comment section. Um, and then, of course, uh, subscriptions are always appreciated. Uh, thank you all very much, and I hope to see you in the game. This is Darkizer. Have a good day.